What is up guys, this is me, Johnny Cooper 64 here with another YouTube video, and NECA Figures, who is known to make action figures that are very detailed, has revealed the buddy of Crash Bandicoot. Most of us have known that if Crash was getting an action figure, Spyro the Dragon will as well, since, you know, both of them are made by Activision, so, you know, no surprise there. And yeah, that is right, and NECA has been working on a NECA Spyro action figure for a while now, and we saw a prototype last month, and now we have the final product. Ladies and gentlemen, NECA Spyro the Dragon action figure, and oh my god, this looks beautiful. The last time I saw something this well made was the Crash Bandicoot action figure, made by the same company. This action figure is very well made and very detailed. You can see Spyro scales going big, then going smaller as it gets to his face. You know, you can tell it when you look at it closely. They knew where to make the scales bigger and where to make it smaller. Like, they know every detail of the Spyro model for Reunited Trilogy, of course. Like, the neck part looks like he has, like, more, um, the scales are more popped up. And as it goes on, the scales go smaller. And you can feel it when you touch it, you know, the scales are there when you touch it. It's amazing how they made this transition. I love the expression they gave for Spyro, fits with his character very well. The material looks to be very different with the wings, horns, and chest. You can see the scratches his chest has as well. His hair and wings have this like orange thing in the corner, but it transition transitions to yellow, something kind of similar to did with Crash's um, action figure. I believe that unlike Crash, who had squishy eyebrows and hair, Spyro is full-blown plastic. The size is also perfect for Spyro, looks the right size. The figure is actually 8 inches long with the tail strained, strained. Of course, like every action figure, Spyro has ball joints, and you can tell where they are going to be located at. With the way they made things separate in the figure, like his wings are ball jointed. That one is well hidden in my opinion. The tail is ball jointed, his hips, ankles, chest, half his body, his head, his feet, and maybe his horns are all ball jointed. Those are the only ones I can make out by seeing this action figure very closely. You can move these things around and make cool spiral poses. That's what I did with my Crash Bandicoot action figure. He only comes with one head just like Crash Bandicoot, but unlike Crash, this one does not include any bonus items. Crash got a plastic box, but Spyro won't. They should have at least given him like a gem or something, you know, small gem will have been fine. But with the price it is, everything is, is it's all good, you know. The price is $22.99, same thing how Crash costed. But overall, this is definitely worth the price. Seeing how well detailed Crash was when I bought him and seeing this, it's totally worth it. And you get every detail you see in this picture in the action figure when you buy them. This figure is just beautiful. I love every detail NECA puts into it. You know, you gotta love NECA with this. You gotta love every detail NECA puts into this. They put a lot of effort into this. Such an amazing spiral figure, and this will, of course, probably be the only well-detailed spiral figure they will ever made, just like they did with Crash Bandicoot. This will come out in early 2019, presumably quarter two, and I'm definitely going to be picking this up and putting it right next to Spyro's pal Crash Bandicoot. Will you guys be buying this action figure? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.